What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I wanna show you how to do FizzBuzz with Python. All right, in the last video we looked at for loops. In this video, I wanna look at FizzBuzz, a popular interview question from years and years ago. Not as popular today, but still very fun and very cool. Let's us do all kinds of cool stuff that we've already learned previously, put it all together and play with it a little bit. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $27, which is insanely cheap. Okay, FizzBuzz, what am I talking about? Well, back in the day when you wanted to get a coding job, they would ask you interview questions. They still do that now, but they're a lot more sophisticated these days. In the old days, a real popular one was something called FizzBuzz. And the idea of FizzBuzz is you want to print out all the numbers from 1 to 100 on the screen. And if a number is divisible by 3, you also want to print out the word fizz. If it's divisible by 5, you want to print out the word buzz. And if it's divisible by both 3 and 5, you want to print out FizzBuzz as well as the number. So, you know, kind of tricky if you, you don't really know what you're doing. If you're a very, very beginner programmer, you might not really know how to do this. So it's a, it's a good way to show a lot of different things. You know, you got loops, you got counters, you got if else statements, conditional things, you got a little math, you need to find out if a number is divisible by a number. How do you do all that? You know, so it's, it's kind of cool. So that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to walk you through it. So let's pull up our code here. So fizzbuzz. So first things first, let's just print out all the numbers from one to 100 out on the screen. And we could probably do this with a loop. And I like while loop. So let's just do a while loop. And I'm gonna create a num counter. All right, so let's go while and let's say num is what less than or equal to 100, because we also want to print out 100. We don't want to just stop at 99. So less than or equal to, then we want to let's just print out uh, num, right? And then we need to increment our counter. So plus equal one. And okay, so let's save this save it as hello pi, and pull up our terminal. And let's run this guy. And shoom, it looks like from zero to 100. And if we want to do between one and 100, we would just, you know, do that. So, okay, so now, how do we figure out if a number is divisible by another number? Well, if you remember back to the math section, we had that modulus. Remember the modulus kind of weird thing that percentage sign. And that tells us a remainder. So like 10 modulus three, that would give us one because three goes into 10 three times nine with one left over. Well, three, 10 is not divisible by three because it has a remainder. If a number doesn't have a remainder, then it's divisible. So we can use that to do that. So let's go, let's create an if statement. And let's say if, um, let's say num modulus three equals zero. Remember our comparison operator, we can do that in an if statement. And now let's do both of them. Let's do the three and the five. Let's knock out that fizzbuzz. That's the hardest one. You know, we can do multiple conditional statements. We learned how to do that. And num uh, modulus five equals zero. Oops. Then we want to print. Now we want to print out the num plus the word, put a colon next to it, fizz buzz, right? Now, num is a number, and we need it to be a string. So let's, let's wrap this whole thing because you can't add a, a number to a string, we remember, but we could just convert this to a string and then print that on the screen. And that should work. Let's get rid of this. Right? So that's fizz buzz, fizz and buzz. Um, what next? Well, let's just knock out each of the next ones three and five individually. And if we want to do more than one if statement, we we know we can use an LF, right LF. And then we can just copy this. Right. And let's just copy this as well. And instead of saying fizzbuzz, it's visible by three, we just want it to say fizz, right. And we can copy this whole thing and do it again. But instead of three, let's change it to five and instead of fizz, let's change it to buzz, right? Finally, if it's not divisible by anything, we just want to print out the number, right? So uh, else, 
Oops. We just want to go, uh, what? Print num. Yeah. Let's put, let's wrap this in a string function and then also concatenate a period. And instead of a colon, let's put a period just to make it look nicer. All right. Now we also want to increment no matter what. And yeah, Does that look right. I think that's right. So let's save this real quick and run it. I almost always make errors when I do these things. Let's see what I did. No. Nope. Okay, so we have one, two, three, three is divisible by three. So it says fizz Four, five. Five is divisible by five. So it says buzz six is divisible by three. So it says fizz nine is divisible by three. 10 is divisible by five. 12 is three. And here's our first fizz buzz. So 15 is divisible by both three and five. Three goes into 15 five times, five goes into 15 three times. So fizz buzz. And we can just sort of spot check this. 30 is the next one we could see. Yeah, yeah, fizz, fizz, buzz. All the way down to 100, buzz, 90 fizz. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. And just that easy. So I like fizz buzz. You know, it lets us use a lot of different things that we've already learned, while loops, counters, if else statement, sort of a uh, little trickier logic with the uh, multiple conditions here, multiple comparison operators. We've seen, we've, we're done doing an actual logical thing inside of here. If num equals, right? That's a little bit different. We're sort of stringing along these, these operators, the, the modulus and the, the double equal to sign. So it's kind of interesting, kind of fun. Now here's an assignment for you. Look at this, try and do it yourself without copying me obviously, but then do it again, but do it differently. Maybe try a for loop, maybe try something else. Try and get it to where you're doing the least amount of code as possible. We call that being elegant, using less code. There's probably a thousand ways to do FizzBuzz. Try and think of one yourself and play around with it. See if you can do it. And if your method is less code than mine, post in the comment below um, and, and post your code and let's take, take a look at it. It's a fun little exercise. Like I said, there's a thousand different ways to do this and uh, there's no right or wrong way but uh, try and do it in the least amount of code. That's sort of more impressive. You know what I mean? This just came to my mind. I like while, while loops. So I said, hey, let's do a while loop, but you can do this any number of ways and I'll leave it to your imagination and uh, yeah, have some fun with it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com. We'll see you in the next video.